I know you've heard of kids cutting grass to go swimming, but in some far-flung areas in the Philippines, kids have to swim daily just to go to school. The community that our organization serves are mostly far-flung communities. These are geographically isolated and disadvantaged areas, whether it's coastal or mountainous. These are the areas where help and hope is hard to find. The Yellow Boat of Hope started when a friend of ours told the story to my co-founder, Jay Haboneta, about kids having to swim to go to school. And that broke our heart. And our mission was just to simply give one school boat. But even before we finished that one community, we got a deluge of messages over Facebook asking for help for similar situations. Now we're present in close to 300 far-flung communities all over the Philippines. Ang pinaka-importante sa nagawa sa amin ng Yellow Boat of Hope Foundation, hindi kami pinabayaan, nandiyan pa rin. Parang uh, kap kapatiran na, ano, na, na malalapitan namin. The main mission of our organization is really to ensure that no kid is left behind. We aim to provide access not only to make it safer for kids to go to school, but also provide an environment where quality education can exist. So, sa totoo lang, malaking kaginawaan po. Kasi that time po, nung nag-aaral po ako, uh, dumating na po ako sa punto na gusto ko na talagang mag-stop or yun to yung pag-aaral. Buti na lang, parang hulog ng langit po yung Yellow Boat of Hope Foundation. The Yellow Boat of Hope, whatever success it's having now, is largely because of an army of hope paddlers, selfless hope paddlers who are making what seem to be impossible, possible simply by inspiring each other and making sure that kids get the education that they deserve. Kami as parents po, parang hindi na rin po kami nawawalan ng pulasa kasi nandito na po eh, may handang tumulong. We hope to invite an army of hope paddlers who will jump aboard the Yellow Boat of Hope and empower us because all it takes to change the world is for one person to care.